Hey y'all, welcome to Summertime Tarot. My name is Summer and this is a general reading for the sign of Virgo for May 2020 or whenever you see this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm very enthusiastic right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So we have here money. All my finances are now in divine order. Live. Mm. <laughs> all my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. And self love. Show me how to love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, so much can change on the outside. Okay, so I'm really feeling for you guys for this month. There's going to be... A need for you to really get to a spot if you're if you aren't currently right because this could be that this is could be your current energy where you're at a space where um you're very like your your inner energy is actually so good <laughs> that it's bringing you know abundance into your life right without you having to even like worry about it right so it's really needing to get to a space where you're very compassionate and loving to yourself but also trusting in the divine to give to you whatever it is that you need and that kind of starts in a self-love space where you are connected to yourself and to the divine you know whomever you believe in pray to right you're connected and you're you're tapped into that love source which is then enabling to fill yourself enabling you to fill yourself up with love which then allows you to bring that love out into the physical world and that love is what provides you with everything that you need right so if that's you know not where you are currently then for the month, you know, that's going to be kind of what's being brought up or kind of um, instigated within you, right? And, you know, um, working on that inner love, right? Not focusing so much on um, the material world or what you don't have or... Um, Right, because with this, I really get that, you know, there may be some issues with, you know, insecurities, right, which which tends to have an effect on our physical world, be that with money, be that with relationships, all that good stuff. So if you're not in a space where you are comfortable and confident and secure within yourself, you're loving on yourself, you know that, okay, abundance is my birthright, right? That's what they always say. Abundance is my birthright. And I know whatever I need will be provided for, right? But that, in order to get to that space, there's a need to really, you know, work through your insecurities um, when it comes to, you know, feeling worthy of love and of, you know, abundance and all these good things. And it all starts with, you know, connecting, as it says, 
um, with the inner child, right? So if there are any inner child wounds, right? So maybe, you know, you grew up and your mom was like, money don't grow on trees, right? So like now you kind of have this kind of fear associated with money or maybe you have, um, you know, insecurities about your body or about the way you look or about, you know, your abilities, what you bring to the table, right? Feeling like you, you, you aren't enough, so therefore you don't receive enough. So this month is really going to be, you know, focusing on that aspect or that, you know, within yourself. So we have here death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Okay. And so with that, I really, I feel like this death here is like a transformation, like a death within yourself, dying of the parts of, of yourself that, you know, are insecure, that don't feel like you're enough, that don't feel like you know you're worthy or that your needs are going to be met those those fearful parts within yourself that are kind of keeping you from experiencing the love and the abundance that you desire and that you deserve right and so i feel like with this death card you're in this kind of in between space where you can it's like you're like okay i get the whole um abundance you know mindset yeah okay that's cool manifestation you know all that yeah yippee d do right <laughs> but at the same time it's like how am i supposed to step into that step out there on that kind of you know mindset when my past everything that has happened beforehand has been the complete opposite of that right that's kind of the feeling that i, I get you're in like you're you're at this crossroads and it's like, okay, I understand that, you know, there's another way of life. I understand that there's another way of thinking, another way of being, but how do I get into that kind of space, right? Because I don't know how to get into that space. I've, you know, I haven't really been there. And I feel like I'm supposed to tell you, yes, you have, <laughs> right? Because um, I'm as a kid, like when we're when we're kids, when we're first born, we are already in that kind of space of all of my needs are going to be met. Like think about you know, like a little baby. Like babies don't really. I mean, of course, you know we're we're kind of taught to believe that everybody you know is born with like a, a self preserving mindset, you know, which you know, instincts, all that good stuff. But at the same time, for the most part, babies come into the world, they don't have these fears. These fears were put on, they were learned over time, right? And so for this month, I really, I really feel like the best way for you to, you know, work through your um, fears associated with, you know, money or not being worthy or you know not feeling good enough it's going to be a need for you to connect back with that kind of happy kind of fearless child that was like jumping off of couches and out of trees and kind of you know not worried about when you know the next paycheck was gonna hit you know what i mean really connecting back to that aspect of yourself and really kind of you know like feeling it out like okay I could get into this, okay? But let's go ahead and see what, what's going on here.
So, with the Two of Wands being here, uh, driving your energy for the month, I really feel like this month, it's... it's I feel like it's going to be a battle between... Um, what you know, like what you, what your past experiences were, and what you desire going forward, right? I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I feel like you're at a space, like I was saying, like you're at a crossroads, and it's up to you where you go from here, right? So I feel like although you do want like this kind of abundant, happy, you know, free good life right like that's pretty much what everybody wants right i feel like you want it but at the same time energetically you may not completely be all in right so i feel like for the month it's going to be this kind of tug of war between you know your mindset, your mind, and and your heart, like how you're feeling and what you're thinking, right? And so we have here the Four of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the and the King of Cups. And I feel like <laughs> the song, Baby, Won't You Come My Way, <laughs> is in my head. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm hearing. And it's like, uh, that's the song that popped in my head when I first turned over those first um, two cards. And I feel like this is you kind of calling in this kind of clear head, this clear mind space. But I feel like with this father of baskets, there's this kind of aspect of yourself that isn't fully like I was saying isn't fully in and with the father of baskets I feel like that's because there are still some kind of emotional wounds some kind of emotional like deep feelings that haven't been completely resolved so with this mother of cups I feel like this is you you know like healing and you're kind of in this open kind of heart space to you know have this kind of you know, self-love, this kind of abundance, but at the same time, there's this kind of deeper side that hasn't completely accepted or come to terms with this new mindset that you're trying to um, bring into your life. And so then we have here the Father of, well, the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and Temperance. So your desire... is going to have to, you know, your desire for this abundance, your desire for this kind of change in your life, this death, is going to have to be, with this nine of wands, there's going to have to be some endurance with it, right? You're going to have to, you know, keep going, even when, <laughs> like, look at this, you're like, I'm not having it. Even when that feeling comes up where it's like, I'm not with this. This is not making any sense. I don't like it. I'm sick of this. It's not working out. <laughs> I just feel like that's what she's saying. Like, no, 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 no. Ugh, right? <laughs> it's like your, your, your goal is going to have to fuel you so much, right? You're going to have to pull on this desire because I feel like just the the wanting it, just the kind of this month at least, just the 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 feeling that kind of new headspace, this new kind of heartfelt energy. I don't. I hate to say that I don't feel like it's going to be enough, but there's going to have to. Um, you're gonna have to kind of kick it in with your desire. Like you're gonna have to really. Um, want to continue forth because I feel like there are going to be some times where um, those those insecurities come back and they go they might just come back with a vengeance for real for real because usually 
I'm speaking from experience. They, <laughs> they usually do. You'd be like, okay, yeah, everything's good. Yes. And then one day you're like, what? I thought I dealt with that. And I feel like you may experience a little bit of that this month. But that's okay, right? Don't get, you know, fed up or beat yourself up here because you have, you know, you have temperance. You have, you know, patience, you know, hope, you know, keep the hope. Keep hope alive, right? Trust that your desire is going to be enough, right, to get you to where it is you want to be. But I also want to say, like, just the fact that, you know, you have it in your heart. Like, what's coming to my mind is, you know, folks always say, you know, God knows my heart. Like, God knows your heart, right? And so whenever you do get into a space where you're kind of, like, questioning, you're not sure, you're like, bro, this isn't working, just remember, you know, to fall back on that. Fall back on your heart. Connect back with your heart, what it is that you really want, and that will bring you to this kind of king of wands space where it's like, yeah, go get it mentality. You feel me? Okay, right? Because it's gonna take it's gonna take both your your exuberance, your passion, but also your heart, right? That's why I was saying like your just your des your desire isn't enough, right? Because there has to be a balance between the two. You can't just want it and not put in the effort. Um, and I feel like the effort is mainly going to be in your mind, in your mind space with this four of swords. It's going to come from, you know, when those times come where you're just not feeling it and things just aren't adding up the way you want it. You're not getting exactly what you want, right? And you're questioning like, well, they say it if I... <laughs> wanted this manifestation thing right you're gonna be there but it's like it's cool you got this bro okay and then we have here the star the ten of wands and the four of cups yeah it's going to this wish this wish this desire this hope this that you have you're gonna have to kind of let go of this this burden this burden of this four of cups this burden of not accepting kind of like not being acceptive or receptive to like this new this new space that you're in right because i feel like It's going to take you going all in, right? With this two of wands, you're like kind of on the fence. And so that's what you're kind of going to be experiencing this month. But I kind of see you, you know, getting to a point towards the end of the month or wh whenever, you know, where it's like, all right, like I really want this and I can't keep up this kind of <sighs> back and forth type energy. So it's going to like I'm going to have to gonna have to suck it up and, and do what I gotta do and I, when I say do what I gotta do I feel like that's actually like that deep inner work where you have to you know kind of face your fears and kind of sit down with yourself and be like hey what's going on with me emotionally why you know am I not feeling as good as I would like or what do I need you know doing that inner child work that reparenting to get yourself right back in balance right to a point where you feel, you know, that you are able to do whatever, whatever it is you're trying to do, that you have everything within you to get you there, right? And I feel like once you, once you do that, you're going to have that endurance. You're going to be ready. You're going to be ready, right? But let's go ahead and look at your love life. Let's see.
bottom of the deck here we have the ace of wands we have the ten of pentacles in reverse the six of wands in reverse page of cups in reverse six of pentacles in reverse and the page of swords so i really feel like with with these cards here i feel like with this page of cups in reverse being here at the center when it comes to your romantic love life right i feel like you're kind of disappointed with the way things are going at this current time with the six of wands in reverse i feel like your expectations have not been met and with the six of pentacles in reverse i feel like you're you're not or at least you feel like you're not getting what you feel you deserve in some kind of um, right if you're in a committed relationship in a committed relationship or you know if you're single it could be just you're not happy with you know your kind of station in life where your romantic life is at this current time and with this page of swords here I feel like for the month of May you're going to be kind of exploring your options like looking at what you know you really want right and you know trying to like kind of match up what you have with what you want almost kind of like inspecting things currently and trying to kind of decipher and decide what it is you can do to get what you really what you really desire right so let's go ahead and pull some advice for you for the month So we have here dance kick up your cute heels and move your glorious body feel the music and let loose sweat your prayers and twirl your intentions every cell in your body will rejoice exercises exercises as <laughs> exercise is important to exercise is as important to your well-being as healthy eating and processing your stress and emotions you can shake a tail feather alone with friends or with a passionate partner dance your gorgeous heart out okay yes okay and then we have slow down when it feels like our world is spinning out of control, it's easy to get overwhelmed. This is a good time to begin a daily meditation practice. Your mind is the most open and receptive in the morning, which is why it's helpful to start your day with centering exercises. Cultivate stillness within and know that there is no rush. At the end of our days, we won't care about our to-do list. We'll wish we had loved more, lived more, and been at peace. Don't wait. Slow down now. You are awesome. Your greatest relationship is the one you have with yourself. Build it, strengthen it, praise yourself, share what makes you proud. Your beaming delight will help others shift from glass half empty thinking to heck, I'm pretty awesome too. Embrace your sensitivity. Your sensitivity is the sacred gateway to your intuition. 
It's that special receptive radar that picks up energy and signals. In fact, our sensitivity is one of your greatest assets and the key to your survival. The more you connect with it, the more miracles and synchronicities you'll attract. Okay, and then find your tribe. Your spiritual tribe is out there, and once you find your tribe members, rejoice together and motivate each other. Support each other and stick together. Share your accomplishments, desires, hopes, and heartbreak. Praise each other and offer the kindest tough love when needed. There's strength in numbers. You're never alone. All right. And then let's see what crystals would be most beneficial for you for this month. So we have here Moonstone, Moon Cycles, Crown Chakra, Rutilated Quartz, Home, Root Chakra, Laramar, Water, Ocean, Throat Chakra, Chiastolite, Past Loved Ones, Root Chakra, Green Aventurine, New Opportunities, Heart Chakra, and Hematite, Mental Strength, Root Chakra. All right, so yeah, so really getting grounded this month, focusing on, you know, keeping that Heart Chakra in balance, right, and clear. And then with that uh, Laramar, really being able to speak your truth to... And then that moonstone, really focusing on, you know, getting in tune with the divine so that you know, you know, which way to go, what to do, feeling connected, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and see what self-care activities would be most beneficial for you for this month. All right. Okay, so we have um, listen, so spending some time listening to the tunes, right? Listening to stuff that kind of elevates your mood and your vibration, right? Uh, journal, so, you know, getting out your emotions, your thoughts, right? Not bottling, bottling them up or keeping them, you know, shoved down, but letting them out, you know, releasing all that good stuff. Also, you know, um, making plans for what you want to do. Um, what you want to accomplish and, you know, setting goals each day to get those things accomplished. Then we have flowers. So, you know, buy some flowers, you know, pretty stuff that makes you feel good. That kind of brightens up the room or you could, you know, invest in like a herb garden, buying, you know, some herbs to plant in a pot, you know, in your house or outside as well. Then we have travel. And so with this, you know, we're kind of at this point where we, we can't travel that much. But, you know, um, maybe consider taking taking a different route to, you know, work or to um, the grocery store, wherever it is you're going, right? Taking the scenic route, okay? And then we have crystal work. So, yeah, working with the crystals. So any of these that you see here would be good for you this month or any others that you really like working with okay and so that's all i have for you virgo i hope this helped you in some way please let me know down in the comments how this reading resonated for you and if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this one please subscribe to the channel i really appreciate you and i hope to see you soon